Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today for the Season Overview and Rewards Opening video. So pretty much in this video I'm just going to be talking about how my season went, how the Alliance's season went, and then just opening my rewards. So, as you can see, my I, I had 118 fights this season and no deaths, which is my best ever season. My previous best before this was actually last season where I went 111 and now. I also have 39 minibosses this season, so we count minibosses here as node 22, 23, as well as all of the boss island fights, obviously not including the boss. And then I've had six bosses, so half of the bosses this season I took. And in terms of champions used, I only used four, which I don't usually use a ton, but it's usually more in the region of like six or seven. However, because I've got rank 5 Herc and he was whitelisted, he's just, there's not really much reason to use anyone else. So yeah, as you can see, Herc took 111 of my 118 fights. CGR took 3, which was in the TCM rematch. Apocalypse took 2, which was first TCM match. And then Doom took 2 fights against LVT. So yeah, definitely not too diverse in terms of who I'm using, but... It doesn't really matter if all the fights are getting soloed and Hurt can pretty much just take any fight on the map, which is the main reason that he's like just so dominant in terms of what he's done. In terms of the Alliance, we ended up going 11-1 and one this season. Our only loss was in the rematch to Salty. And I believe as an Alliance we had 16 deaths total across the season, which is an average of 1.25 a war. And then my battle group actually set what I believe is the record for the lowest death count a battle group has ever put up in the game. We have three deaths total. And we actually only have one death in the battle group up until War 11. But we had a death in both War 11 and War 12, which made it three. But still, amazing performance from the Alliance in the battle group. And yeah, now we'll go on to the rewards opening. So yeah, now moving on to the opening. So we did end up placing him first, obviously. So get the War Champion title. Also get, I believe, a full T6 CC, which is split up into Fragment Crystals. Two 6-star Nexus class selectors. ton of T5 CC selectors. And don't know exactly how many it is, but something like 40, 50,000 6-star shards, which I'll be opening some feature crystals with. So T5 CC, I'm pretty much just trying to make the classes as even as possible not really planning to rank many many champions up anytime soon so don't need anything too specific here and then I'm going to move over to the crystals now so I'm going to be opening up three feature crystals so pulls that I want from here is absorbing man is the main one I Doom would be pretty nice and Spot Awakening would be nice. But get pretty much nothing useful. Just Gambit, Venom, Shuri, or Dupe. So nothing particularly helpful there, but to get some extra 7 star shards at least for whenever they get released. Now I'm going to open my Class Nexus crystals. So going for Gallon in these. First one, I get a Medusa Awakening, which is pretty solid pull, prob probably better than 90% of the pulls in here. And second crystal, pretty much nothing useful. Just go for the Awakening on Scroll, but he's probably never going to get ranked up. But to be fair, that they they weren't really the rewards I was interested in this season. Re the main reward for me this season was Defending War Champion. This is my fifth time placing him first with GT40 and actually for the Alliance it's the 10th War Champion that they've got so congratulations to everyone in GT40 who has been there for all 10 War Champions getting the undisputed War Champion title I believe that was 12 people and yeah that pretty much wraps up this season I might be making some videos during off season I'm not entirely sure yet pretty much just gonna depend how much time I have but yeah Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.